Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today on Fridays with Flora. Happy Friday. Um, I know it may not be a happy Friday for a lot of us. There's a lot of chaos and stuff going on when you turn the news on. So I say, well, let's avoid the news today. Let's bake something fun. We here need some fun and some happiness. We lost our furry family member this week of 15 years. She was definitely a senior citizen kitty. Doesn't make it any easier. So we are comfort baking today and staying off the news. <laughs> so join me today. We're gonna make a low sugar, low carby apple cake. And I like this apple cake. It showed up actually in my feed and I'll, I'll link to this blogger in the, sh in the notes, the show notes uh, down below. She's a German blogger. Um, her feed is really fun. It's all in German, but she does have some good translations. Um, but if you're going to do any of her stuff, you have to you convert everything to metric to hear it, you know, so there's conversions, there's translations. Um, and sometimes you don't have the same ingredients here as they do there, obviously. But I did all the math for you. I've also done some updates to the recipe because we are watching our sugar here, especially for my husband. Um, we medically need to take down our sugar intake. Um, so this cake I call clean out the crisper drawer cake. So if you've got apples in that crisper drawer that are sort of like at the bottom where you kind of ignore them until you have to really toss them because they're gross. Um, those apples that you feel guilty throwing away because they're, they're not yet bad enough to throw away, but you really don't want to eat them, you know, when they've turned to be more mealy, maybe a little wrinkly. Um, those apples are still good for baking. So don't, don't, um, don't throw them away. You can throw them in an apple pie or an apple cake. Today, it's a really easy apple cake and it's got a lot of citrus in it. Um, we've also thrown in a little cinnamon and some lemon and some vanilla to add some other different uh, flavor layers to it. But it's really, really easy and I've made it healthier so that you don't have to feel guilty eating it. Uh, so that's all good. And I think we all right now need some comfort food and baking is the best thing to do when you're not feeling great and you're sad. You can add some love into the house, some good smells, and um, sort of like a warm, happy little hug to your family that might need it right now. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that. Um, you can tell I'm struggling with that. So anyway, let's go in the kitchen. Let's get happy. Let's let's get in a let's get a good happy place and bake some fun things. <laughs> so join me today on Fridays with Flora. So like I said, this is a great way to use up apples that are way past eating fresh, but not quite totally mealy and gross. So these, these are the kind of apples you can pretty much use in, in pies and cakes. And we're looking for really thin, thin, thin slices, almost like an apple chip. So I'm using this peeler that has a big, bigger opening than a normal peeler to create these really thin apple pieces. You can also use a mandolin or a food processor. Or you can do it by hand. Just be sure to make them very thin. So do this to about four to five apples and have a bowl nearby and toss them into the bowl. Okay, so to these really thin apples, we're just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of salt. And here's juice of half a lemon. You're also gonna need the zest of that lemon, so zest half a lemon first and then juice it. Don't go the other direction. Okay, toss with lemon and let it sit while we prep our pan, heat the oven, and get our batter going. I have a springform pan and it's got, I'm gonna say about a three inch, three to four inch um, height. Put some parchment paper along the bottom and then spray it really well with some um, butter nonstick cooking spray. You could also just brush butter all over this too. We're just trying to counter calories, so the spray works good. I also have the oven preheating at 350. Okay, to get the batter started, I have two eggs and I sprinkled a little salt in there 
Okay, so it's just like a pinch. And I'm going to add my monk fruit sweetener, which is one to one. Okay, so that means the same amount of sugar would be a sugar replacement. Now you don't need to use monk fruit sweetener, you can use regular sugar, you can use coconut sugar, you can use brown sugar, but just knowing if you're using a substitute to understand what the equivalents are, because sometimes you need to add a little bit more of a, of a more natural sweetener replacement. This is one to one, which I'm excited about, and it's a half a cup. And you're gonna whip this until it's thick and lemony, like lemony colored. To our mixture, we're going to add a half a cup of milk. We're also going to add our half a lemon zest. So that juice you used for the apples, you're going to use that lemon zest. Give it a whip. I'm going to add about a teaspoon, if you go over it's okay, a vanilla. And I'm also going to give a little dash of cinnamon, just, I don't want too much, I just want a little bit, so this is a, a quarter of a teaspoon. You don't have to add that, you can just keep it kind of creamy and citrusy if you want. I just wanted, with Thanksgiving around the corner, a little, a little fall happiness would be nice. Okay, give it another whip. All right, now it's time to add the flour and it's up to you if you wanna use just full on, just regular flour. We're going to cut it with some whole wheat flour to add a little bit of fiber to take down the sugar absorption rate, just to keep it kind of happy for those low sugar family members of ours. So, and do it in batches. So that's a half a cup of regular flour. I'm gonna add it. Don't over mix this, just get it kind of lightly combined. If it's not completely mixed, it's okay. You don't want a, you want a custardy cake. You want a custardy cake. You don't want like a fluffy, airy cake. It's got more of a custard feel to it, so. And then this is the whole wheat flour. I use um, King Arthur's whole wheat flour. You could also use gluten-free flour blends if you want. Um, it's totally up to you. Okay, just lightly mix this in, and then we're gonna add baking powder, and we're gonna do that by hand. The last thing I do is add our melted butter, which you could do earlier, but I'm always a little worried with hot mixing into the egg to curdle it, so add it now. The whole wheat flour is going to have a thicker batter, whereas if you go with the regular flour, it'll be a little lighter. Okay, to this, we're gonna add a teaspoon of baking powder, and you're just going to fold this in gently. Now, if your whole wheat flour has a lot more bran, and the thickness of this batter is a little concerning, you can always add a splash more milk if you'd like. I actually might do that. The idea here is to get the batter all over these apple slices. You'll notice too that the juice from the apples and the lemon juice loosened this batter up even more, which is nice. Okay, let's get our pan. The key here is, you guys, to get this ladled in here and you don't want a lot of air bubbles. So go slow and push down. If you're looking for that dense custardy kind of vibe for this cake. And tap the sides a little bit make sure all those apple slices are settling in like that. 
final is just adding a little bit of drizzled butter on the top. It's up to you how much. I'm gonna go with maybe, I don't know, one to two tablespoons. So just drizzle the butter on top evenly. I melted two tablespoons. I don't think I'm gonna use it all. Yeah, I think one would have been plenty actually, so. If you want, you could put a, a little bit of sanding sugar or a little bit of the, the sweetener um, substitute. I'm not gonna do that. Now this bakes for a while, so set your timer for about 50 to 60 minutes. It's basically an hour. All right, this is looking great. And there you go. So you're looking for a nice golden top and that the center doesn't look moist anymore and it springs back to the touch, which it is. So let it cool down and then you'll be able to unclip the sides and sprinkle it with some powdered sugar and serve it up. Okay, this has been cooled and I unclipped it and let it cool a little more. Ideally, you wanna sprinkle powdered sugar on this, but because I'm trying to keep the sugar down, I'm actually not gonna do that. Um, my husband won't be happy with me. <laughs> we do that. You can see it's got like, so you can see it's got a dense texture. I didn't have lunch yet, so this is, this is perfect timing. It's, it's not that sweet, but there's enough sweetness here. It's very good. And I have to say, it's really good warm. I'm sure it'd be nice at room temperature. It, this would be a nice um, tea cake, a breakfast cake. And it's great because it, it really is low carb. And that monk fruit sweetener is great in here. Tastes like sugar. All right. That's making me feel slightly less sad. Only slightly, but I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever lost a furry friend, but it's very, very hard. All right, guys. Do some baking. Do some baking today. Turn the news off. Turn the news off. Um, some areas of the Midwest, like us, we have a gorgeous day today. Um, it's around 60. Get outside, bake something nice for your family, bake this up and you'll feel good about cleaning out your crisper drawer and not throwing any apples away and making something wonderful with these apples. And uh, if you're looking for other things to bake or do, go to my blog, urbandomesticdiva.com. I apologize for talking with my mouthful. Um, Check out my other videos. There's lots of crafting and baking and cooking and canning. There might be some fun, some fun things to can. Um, check out your farmer's markets with your mask on. Anyway, please stay safe, be well. Um, I think as we continue to self-isolate and we continue to, um, I don't know, deal with a lot of negative stuff right now, Take care of your mental health, you know, and take care, take care of yourself, please. Um, it's not just about staying healthy in all this, but going outside, getting your exercise, doing things that bring you joy. Please take care of yourself, take care of your family. Um, I won't see you till the other side of Thanksgiving, so thank you for being here. Thank, I thank my community. I'm very thankful for what I do here. Um, and I hope you have a safe and healthy holiday that's full of deliciousness and full of love. So I will see you on the other side as we get into holiday craziness. <laughs> anyway, um, also please subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot. Um, and again, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.